Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making these tasty little ham tomato pesto paninis. Very easy and delicious. So, let me show you how to make it. First, just get your ingredients ready. I've got my ham and Finlandia Swiss on a sheet pan. I've got my eight slices of good quality sourdough bread ready on another sheet pan. And of course, these delicious tomatoes and my pesto off to the side. We're going for sliced tomato rounds here, so you should slice these at about a quarter of an inch in thickness so we don't add too much bulk to the sandwiches. Next, we'll brush olive oil on one side of our sliced sourdough bread. And you'll want to use a high quality, sturdy bread for this panini because we're going to press these sandwiches in the cooking process later. Now it's time for the ham, and I'm using five slices per sandwich, so I'll fold them over like you see here and do two folded slices on the top half of the sliced bread and then two on the bottom half, and then one final slice on top of all of them. We'll do the same with the remaining three sandwiches. After that, it's two tomato slices per sandwich. Then I'll spoon on about a tablespoon or so of pesto on each slice of bread. I'm using Finlandia Swiss cheese for this, which comes in long slices. I'll fold those in half and add one folded slice to the top half of the slice of bread, then one folded slice on the bottom half of the bread. I'll do this for all four sandwiches. Next, we're going to flip the tops over, and since this is a round loaf bread, I like to match up the rounded side of the bread on the top slice with the rounded side of the bottom slice. Once all our tops are on, we're going to brush a little bit of olive oil on the tops as well. Just a light, even coating like you see here. You've got to work quickly with your brush. Now that we've got all the sandwiches assembled, I'm going to fire up my Nana's old countertop griddle and place the sandwiches side by side. If you don't have a griddle like this, it's no problem. Just use two large pans on your stovetop. We need to press the sandwiches, and I'm going to do this with a heavy cast iron skillet that I'll place on top of two sandwiches at a time. It should take about four to five minutes to cook the sandwiches on each side, alternating the skillet back and forth. Then we're gonna turn our sandwiches over and cook them about four to five minutes on the other side as well or until they are golden brown and crispy. Same technique here. We'll use a heavy cast iron skillet or a regular non-Teflon pan with a pot of water on top to weight it down. You don't have to have a skillet to press the sandwiches. You just need something heavy to press them down so they get nice and crunchy. Once they're done, we're gonna transfer those to a sheet pan or a plate. And after that, you can start cutting the sandwiches in half. And these are pretty big sandwiches, so you could serve full sandwiches or just serve half sandwiches with a side salad. And now it's time to eat the bite. So I'll leave you with my live commentary of sampling this awesome panini. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Which one do I even want? I think I want that one. Once you decide <laughs> which sandwich you're having. <laughs> it's a glorious moment. Okay, so let's take a closer look at these. Oh, you won't believe the absolute deliciousness this pesto brings to the sandwich too, by the way. All right, I'm gonna just dig right in. First bite, I want a little bit of everything as usual. Mm. Oh, okay. They're gonna be juicy. Mm, that's delicious. I'm gonna put a little juice bib right here. <laughs> yeah. Because I am giving these to other people. Oh, this is a delicious sandwich. Mm. Mm. I love it, I needed another bite before my commentary because I'm actually really hungry and this is actually my lunch right now. Mm. So good. I, it's dripping, so I'm having like a little cutting board bib right here. I had this combination, this isn't like original or anything. I had this combination of a sandwich years ago at a cafe, my favorite coffee shop. And uh, and I just thought, how weird, pesto and ham together. And then I was like, this is incredible. Mm. And the tomato and the Swiss. Mm. This is a panini that must be served immediately because that juiciness from the tomato is gonna make it soggy. So. Cook them and eat them immediately. And I highly recommend using olive oil for this. This isn't a, a cooked enough sandwich to know when butter is going to be the right way to go. Thin spread of butter, like the taco grilled cheese, or olive oil. This is an olive oil panini. This is just delicious. 
Oh, outrageous. Mm. Got a really great crunch. I love all these components together. You know I'm a cheese hound, so I did the double cheese, but you can only, you could just do one slice if you want to cut back. If you're having a bunch of people over, this, this could be like a half sandwich. And you know, I made a salad to go with it too. I just made this really simple salad on the side. I didn't even use my regular balsamic vinaigrette. I just drizzled olive oil and balsamic vinegar, gave it a toss, sliced some cherry tomatoes and red onion. Really simple. Serve it on the side. Or any salad in the world. <laughs> this or any other salad. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want. I am extremely happy with how these came out. I'm gonna go take my pictures. I'm gonna eat the rest of these sandwiches. No, I'm just kidding. These are all gonna get wrapped up and given away to people to be reheated, probably best either in the toaster oven or in an air fryer.